the, you know, crops don't take damage from weather, so I guess we just leave that open. And we'll call it airflow and pretend like we intended to do it that way. Welcome back, everybody, to Low Frame Rate Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming. <laughs> no. Back to Icarus, guys. Back to Icarus. Uh, uh, so, yeah, in uh, this episode, we are going to continue work on the baits. We have three major things that need to happen and a bunch of lesser things. Um, but before we can start with that, they just came out with a new update with mount improvements. Some of the improvements I like, some of them I don't. Um, so we now have a G slot in the saddles for radars and extractors, which is good. Mounts no longer take damage from thirst or hunger, meaning they will not perish if left unsupervised. That is a bad change in my humble opinion because it removes the incentive for us to keep our mounts fed. Dumb change in my opinion. Well, no, dumb's not the right word. That might be, not, it's not necessarily a dumb change on their part. Just personally, I don't like that change. <clears throat> because here again, it's unrealistic and removes the incentive to feed your critters. What I would have preferred them to do is is just uh, lighten it up a little bit, nerf it, but not completely remove it. So I don't like that change. Um, mounts and mounts with saddles now have 10% resistances. I'd like that change. Added an aura to the animal bed, which gives the mounts uh, a sleep buff like we get. I like that change. And it makes the, the bed more useful because before that it was just used for... Uh, taming and they lowered the time it takes to tame creatures from 1200 seconds to 900 seconds I don't like that change because I thought it was already you know fast enough as it was and you know if, if you guys have been watching my channel for, for a while you know I don't like it when developers dumb down games and make things easier unless it's just ridiculously complicated or difficult and needs to be dumbed down in that case this is not a case that I think the animals needed, the taming time needed to be dumped down. Um, you know, compared to like games like Ark Survival Evolved that has taming, uh, the taming in this game was already a joke in terms of its difficulty and its time, and now they're making it even easier. So not a fan of that. That is all my own personal opinion, of course. You guys can certainly disagree. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. Um, and uh, yeah, so the other thing that they've talked about in this update is they they they're talking about that they're really trying to work on optimization and they they have a, a team that's actually dedicated to that which is encouraging to see um and what here's something else too interesting that i noticed when i was editing the the last three videos when we went on the zephyr mission um i noticed my frame rate was actually a lot better it still wasn't perfect but it was a lot better than it is here on this save and I think that probably has to do with a couple of things. I've been told before that this this upper, or I should say lower, this southern area in the Ring Lake region has um, performance issues anyways. And that coupled with the fact that, you know, we've, we've built a lot of stuff and that always impacts the game too. So that's, it sucks for, for here, but it's also somewhat encouraging because it means, you know, it isn't the entire game that's broken. Uh, it's just that Jaguar. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, you know, it's, it's, and, and that doesn't mean it's okay though. They still need to fix it. They need to fix it so that this area is optimized A and B when you want to build a base. And I would say this is a modest base. I mean, we don't have a lot of stuff going on here. Um, it's a smaller base. You know, it still needs to run well, but you know, it's just good to know that they have people that are actually dedicated to working on that. And hopefully, you know, things will continue to improve in the future. Okay, anyway, enough said about that. So we have, uh, like I said, we have three big things that we need to get done uh, uh, coming up as far as our base build goes. Uh, we need to build a barn. I want to get the critters out of the yard and a better setup because they are a real pain in the butt uh, as, you know, where they are now. For example, I'll go in there to feed them or to grab one critter and then all of the other three run out at the same time, that kind of thing. So we need to address that. Um, and... <clears throat> excuse me we'll probably move them a little bit further away from the house and not have them directly in our yard um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking we're also going to put them on foundations um, because that should theoretically prevent any spawns inside their pen which does happen from time to time also another thing that needs to be fixed in this game 
Um, so yeah, we got to work on that. Uh, I'm going to build an actual greenhouse. So yeah, we'll have a greenhouse with, you know, concrete frames and reinforced glass. So that's on the list and I, and we need to build a, a, a pump slash utility shed where we're going to put all of our power generators and water pumps um, and get those out of, you know, from inside of the house. Okay. Uh, and then there's other minor things to do. Like I was talking to one of you guys in the comments, I am definitely planning on putting real uh, actual windows uh, in the window slots. They're not going to stay open like they currently are and, you know, other touch up things like that. Okay. So uh, as far as today's episode in terms of what we're actually going to work on, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking probably what I'd like to work on is the barn, but we might need to either move, temporarily move, or even just temporarily take down the greenhouse and build it later. I have a pretty good supply of produce uh, already. So, um, because, you know, I guess, well, here's the thing. I got to figure out exactly where I'm going to put the barn. My thought was maybe put the greenhouse on this side of our island, but have it run lengthwise this way instead of that way. And then put the, you know, keep the barn more over on this side of the island. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm thinking, which means we're going to have to make some modifications uh, to the greenhouse, either tear it down temporarily or at least move stuff out of the way until you know we can get things uh, changed so uh, or I might be able to maybe we could actually do the greenhouse first and get it done in the way we want it and then then it's done and we're not like taking it down for a lengthy period of time so I don't know maybe we'll work on the greenhouse first let's take a look and see what it's gonna take to make reinforced glass because we definitely cannot use normal glass on the greenhouse and even with the reinforced glass it's probably going to take damage um you know slow damage or minimal damage which i'll have to periodically repair so to make reinforced glass that's probably going to be a something we do in here maybe Glass roof, glass roof corner, glass window, heavy glass window. I think that's what what it, we want is heavy glass window. Now, we might be able to get away with using normal glass if... I'm trying to remember how I did this when I, when I played, you know, the last time, a year and a half or so ago. If we, if we frame it within, like concrete pillars and stuff it might be okay from the storm i'm not I, I just don't remember exactly how that worked the only way we're really going to be able to tell for sure is to is to do it and then test it out maybe on a small smaller structure and see how it comes together or or either that or just build it out with the greenhouse and then if it doesn't work we we switch it out you know with the reinforced glass because the problem with the heavy glass is it doesn't appear like there's anything but just the you know the rectangular vertical pane there and not like you know the angle pieces and stuff that we would want if we wanted to make a, a nice looking greenhouse okay so that being said as, as i'm kind of just trying to figure all that out in my brain we should be able to use stone continue to use stone foundations because foundations don't really seem to take damage from storms um, as opposed to concrete foundations though concrete foundations would actually look nicer and if I guess if the devs decide at some point in the future that they are going to have stone foundations start to take damage then we've already kind of future proofed it so why don't we just go balls out here and do do concrete um, for all of that okay so now that I talked myself into that how many of these can we make we can make 12 okay before we do that um, what time is it? Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a sleep here. Make it daytime. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just let that run. I like the ambiance. Okay, so... I don't 
think we need a greenhouse any larger than what's already here. I've got plenty of produce. In fact, I kind of have almost too much produce. I do want to upgrade these wood crop plots, though, to iron crop plots. Um, but, you know, we could even reduce the number that we currently have down. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four foundations. I wonder if we could get away with just two. So that would give us a total of 16 crop plots. And we don't, we'd only have to make four more of the iron ones and just not use these and then reduce, you know, the number of crops that we have. Um, knowing that, you know, we could always expand that later if we had to. So let's, I think that's what we're going to do, which means then we need to make, um, let's see, two, four, six, eight. No, I'm sorry, two, four, six. We should be able to just get away with six foundations. Okay, so let's go ahead and queue up six concrete foundations. Now, while that's happening, um, we're going to come back out here. And we need to... Oh, we need to make four more iron crop plots. Let's do that next section. So we have those cooking up too. I believe we do that in here. Okay, so we're going to need sulfur. We have enough copper, and we're going to need 40 iron ingots in total. Okay, that's gonna. those are going to be up here. We're doing, <coughs> excuse me, we're doing pretty good on iron. Um, at some point I need to go check my drills again too, but I'll do that off camera. Oh, and it's also said we needed, uh, did I say we needed more sulfur too? Well, yeah, we're going to need a little bit more sulfur than what's currently in there. So sulfur should be in here. No, not in there, in here. Yeah. So we'll just grab another stack of that. Let's make four more of these. Oh, those cook up pretty fast. Okay. They don't stack, though, which kind of sucks. Um, all right, now let's go get our six concrete foundations. <clears throat> and we're going to want... I think we're yeah. I think we're gonna need to put floors over those too, because if we don't, it's not we're not gonna be able to put four to a foundation. So let's make four floors. I'll just wait for those. They won't take that long. Let's pick up this and use it as a temporary storage. It's jam packed with charcoal, but you know what? If that charcoal disappears. I really don't care. We've got so much charcoal, it's ridiculous. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the stone fireplace down right here. So we have a place to put stuff. And then, uh, oh, we got to repair. Let's repair it first. Yeah. The stone, the stone is very durable, but as you can see, it does it does take some damage. So it would take it would take a long time for it to actually get destroyed, and it would be relatively easy to you know to keep up on the repairs of it. But I'd rather just use concrete and not have to mess with it at all. Let's temporarily put this stuff in here. In fact, let's put that, all of this stuff in here, too. Okay. So I'm going to get the rest of these repaired and picked up. And we're also going to pick up the, the crop plots. 
and kind of get all you know this existing foundation out of the way and then we will uh, build the new foundation all right guys I am back and uh, I've given this some thought and we're gonna change things up a little bit I was originally going to put the greenhouse out here but I got to thinking you know it would be cool uh, to have the greenhouse out over the water um, and it would also be nice to have it closer to the base since we're accessing it frequently and so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, the platform out over the water um, off of this side of the house and put the greenhouse there. Uh, I also checked the sun when it was kind of at its zenith or, you know, above the peak. And the shadow of the building goes out to about there. So as long as we're a little further out than that, we, don't, we shouldn't have to worry about, you know, sunlight being obstructed from the shade. It would be better from that point of view to put the greenhouse on this side, but... Then I'm going to have to reconfigure a bunch of stuff in the kitchen, which I really don't want to do. So I think we're going to go ahead and put it over on this side. First order of business here is we're going to at least upgrade the pathway to concrete because I may eventually upgrade the rest of this to concrete too. So since we're rebuilding this, we might as well use concrete right from the get-go. Um, so I want to grab uh, these concrete frames here. And it uh, looks like I need to change my uh, light out here. So let's do that. Okay. All right, so we're going to pick that up. And I'm going to put a foundation here. And I think I want it to... goes those two directions huh it doesn't go yeah there we go I want it to go that way just so that way we know everything's gonna face in that direction and then let's put another one down here except for I can't see the back on arrow uh, it's probably because it's buried underground it may not actually well okay hold on if we put it here, okay, so those kind of cross beams are going north and south. So we want it to go like that. It might it might be that they're the arrows pointing this way, but it shouldn't matter. I hope it doesn't matter anyway. Good. Um, now let's go ahead and you know this could actually work out. Well, at least for the for the pathway, anyways, it should work out pretty good. So let's go ahead and put another concrete down here, making sure the arrow is well. Again, I can't see the arrow because it's buried, but as long as those cross beams are going the same direction, we should be fine. And let's go out one more that way too. And I think this gets us out far enough to where we are. Uh, past the where the hell did my knife go um, I hope I didn't drop lose that knife that was that's an expensive titanium knife what did I do with it <laughs> did I accidentally put it in one of these buildings or uh, containers well that's concerning I may have accidentally dropped my knife somewhere. Ugh. Okay. Let's see, I got inside of here, but I don't see it in here. Didn't put it in here. It's not in there. Not in there. Oh, I was gonna also, a couple of you actually commented about taking and putting my ice in the rain reservoir I can do that and I will do that but the thing is is this rain reservoir is always a hundred percent full so I don't really need to do that but I mean we can <laughs> uh, so because otherwise the ice is just gonna 
be thrown out because there's nothing else I can uh, or need to do with it. So yeah, anyway, we put that in there. Okay, so yeah, that sucks. I have lost and probably either dropped or inadvertently put inside of one, a container my expensive titanium knife, which really sucks. No, all right, well, for now, I'm going to pull the platinum knife out just so I have one. And if I don't come across it, I'll just have to make another one. It is what it is. Anyway, let's get back to this. So now we want to, should have somewhere. Yeah, we have a concrete ramp, which we are going to turn into stairs. And we'll put these up right here. I like it. I like it. And then we'll build the platform. Here, let me get back up here for a second. Yeah, that should be fine. I, I don't think the the peak of the, the roof there, the shadow of it, will, will go past here. So that way we have full sunlight for the entire day on our greenhouse. Let's grab these foundations here. We're going to have to make some more because... You know, I've, I've ended up using more, which is fine. Um, if anything needs to go underneath these, we're going to use stone for that. Uh, we're only going to use concrete for the top level. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's grab some stone foundations out of here. Maybe split that in half. We're going to need a total of six, actually. Um, and we're going to need a total of six concrete. We have, including the one I just put down, we have four, so we need to make two more concrete foundations. Did I put any of those in here? No, that's just all crop plots at the moment. Get out of here, bear. Yeah, uh, removing these palisade walls is going to cause this problem. Um, but it's not, as long as the animals are well protected, I'm not worried about myself because we can easily kill them. Um, but I haven't decided what the ultimate plan will be as far as the palisade walls. <coughs> I am going to keep them up against the gate like this just because I don't want a critter running right across our bridge and coming into the yard. But, I mean, you know, because they spawn here so much, though, it's almost a moot point. But that's a problem for another day. Uh, for the time being, we'll just kill them when they uh, come up here and, and cause us grief. As long as the animals are safe, that's the main thing. Okay, so I am out of steel rebar. We need to make two more of those. That... that this concrete is gets really expensive, man. Oh, we got a decent amount of steel there, though. Why don't we make another 200 of these? Uh, no, 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 two. Or not 200, I'm sorry, 20. Um, no, nah, let's make, let's make another 100. So probably going to need them. Uh, I'm Well, I know we're going to need them by the time it's all said and done. Alright, so I, I think I said we needed two more of these. Uh, the water pipe's disconnected. I have it all, that all torn up for, at the moment, so everything's going to be really slow until we get that reconnected, which we will do. I had everything running off of a single water pump, but we're going to do two water pumps. One that'll probably be mostly, if not entirely, dedicated to the greenhouse, and then the other one will run everything in the house. You, they, 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 uh, what am I trying to say? You get a lot of mileage out of them. Okay, so let's jump down into the water here. And we want to grab these stone foundations. And put them down here for support. We might not need, I don't think we need to put any on that side. We definitely need one here, and we should probably have one there, too. This, get out of here, man. Come here. You 
You mess with the bowl, you get the horn. You too. Or in this case, the platinum knife. Um, all right, you know what? I have once again miscounted things. We need this to be... Just try to think. Yeah, we need this to go out another another section. So I need two more stone foundations for in there. Right. Okay. Just just thinking about how you know how this is all going to come together. No, I want you to go. The other way, arrow. Why do you do that to me? There. Okay. Yeah, this one can go right directly on the stone. It's good. Good as it is. So we need three more concrete. And two more stone. I'm excited, man. I think this is gonna look really good when when we're all it's all said and done. Okay, so three more of these. Yeah, this takes so much longer without the water pump connected. Um, let's see. We got a full stack of meat in there. I'm just going to turn this meat into animal fat. And we'll also put... Let's put this fish in here. And we'll grab that stuff out of there. Put this fish in there, too. That can go in there. Boiled meat can go in here. Okay, let's grab the rest of these now. Another commenter uh, asked, how come I don't control click into the inventory all the time? And my response was, well, I usually do, but sometimes I forget to. And sometimes I deliberately want to drag and drop stuff just because I'm trying to, you know, organize things or sort my thoughts. But for the most part, uh, I do control click and shift control click stuff, um, but not always. You know, sometimes you just don't think about it. And even alt control click, just like that. See, look at that. Very useful to drag one one thing off of a stack there. Okay. This pro this would have been less expensive for me to to use pillars instead, but you know, pillars would actually kind of look good too. Uh, hmm. Making this up as I go, peeps. We could always take those uh, concrete foundations and use them in, you know, we're going to need those for the barn, too. I'm just thinking, you know, maybe being up on the pillars in the water might look nice and, you know, kind of match with... It, th these are on pillars, and the side building that we'll put out on this side will probably be on pillars, too. So why don't we do that? Now, why don't we do that? Okay, so that means we're going to need... Um... One, one two, three, four. We're going to need... If we have a pillar on each corner, we're going to need a total of 12. Uh, plus, in a couple of situations, we're going to have to go down deeper than that. Yeah, I, I, I think I want to do that. Well, we're going to need pillars over here, too. We need lots of pillars. Let's see how many I can make. And we'll just repurpose those concrete foundations for the barn. So we haven't wasted anything at all. We can make exactly one of these. 
Oh, oh man, that stuff is so damned expensive. Lord almighty. You know, we could use, actually we could use the stone pillars. Because they're fine. They don't take damage down in the water. Um, and it would match kind of with what we already got going on. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's use the stone pillars. We, we need to be, I want to be economical about this within reason, you know? So we'll pick these back up. This, these stairs and everything below them, well, those will definitely stay as, uh, as concrete because they're exposed to the surface. Um, we have five stone beams there and we need wood and iron nails to make more. Okay. Um, do I have iron nails in here? I'm not enough. Well, that's going to be copper nails. Okay, we have to make some more iron nails. Let's grab a couple stacks of iron there. And stick those in here. And let's just make a hundred for now. Don't wanna don't wanna over over create things. And I'm gonna put Uh, yeah, we'll just put it, that stuff back in there for the moment. I think this is ultimately going to... It's going to look better. And it's going to be a little more, like I said, economical. Than having a big solid block of concrete foundations. Which is very expensive. Okay. Put those in there. Now, it also said we needed some wood, too. Uh, how are we doing on wood? Oh, we got lots of wood. Let's grab a couple stacks of wood out of here. Good. Now, how many of these can I make? 17? I don't think... I don't think we'll need that many. Let's make 10. And then we'll adjust as needed. Okay, so we want to take and put a pillar there. And one here. And then we want to grab a concrete floor. I want the arrow. Well, you know what? As long as it's facing that direction, it's probably going to be fine. Okay. And then we're going to put another pillar here and one there. And we don't need all of those stone foundations down there. Let's pick them up. We are going to need, though... A pillar there. And uh, a pillar there. Let's go get some more. You're gonna provide us with some more um, fish curry, are you? four more of these and guess what steel rebar it's not even the concrete that's expensive about concrete it's the doggone steel rebar man um let's do that many 200 We've got a decent amount of steel but that's going to disappear really quick if we have to keep making this many of these things okay four more of those and while those are cooking up let's go Back out here. Um, it's getting dark, so we're going to need to sleep fairly soon.
Did I not just knife you? Or was that a different piranha? And they're all over the place. Here, we'll kill you too. Because we like fish curry. Okay. So, we're going to want another... One... Uh, yep, right there. And right there. And then we come out to there and one down here. Oh, that's it. Okay, we have to make more. So we're going to need a uh, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're gonna need nine more if I'm counting correctly. Okay, we got the one there. Can I do that? And then that. And then that. And then that. I've used them up already, eh? Okay, so one, two, three, four more. We need more iron nails. Okay, let's make another. Let's make 200 of these. We have two pillars here, so we should just need two more if I counted right. There's no guarantee of that at all. You guys know me and math don't get along too well. I'm a I'm a guesstimate builder. I figure okay, I probably need about this many. And so I get started with, with that, and then um, if we need more, we make a few more, and then if we need more, we make a few more until we, you know, finally get it figured out. There we go. Okay, so that takes care of all the pillars. And that is the greenhouse platform, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, now. Uh, I think what I want to do next is let's grab, let's actually sleep. And then we want to grab all of these. Now, one question I need to figure out here is if I bring these all the way out to the sides, am I still going to be able to put walls and stuff in place? So we need to determine that because that might change things up a little bit here for how we're doing this. Let's get this first tile done. Okay, so it is going to let me put that there. Does that interfere with the crop plot in any way? It doesn't appear to. I'm not actually going to put this piece here. I'm just trying to make sure I can put a piece there. What I'm thinking about doing is building this with frames, you know, like with concrete pillars. I just don't know for sure if we do that, if the glass will then hold up to the to the weather. If they're encased in concrete frames, they may indeed be able to do that. So why don't we... We're going to do a little bit of an experiment here. I'm going to make a couple of glass walls. We need a pot... Oh, wow, that's going to be expensive epoxy and iron, but you know, we're not making a bazillion of them either, so we should be able to handle it. What do I have for epoxy in here? Grab that much, and we need some iron ingots. I probably have epoxy in here. Yeah, we got quite a bit of epoxy in there. Grab a couple stacks of ingots. 
Okay, so let's make a glass wall. And another glass wall. And a glass... Yeah, a glass angle. And a glass roof. Okay. I thought I just ate, man. Really? Food's low already? I have to make some more pies here pretty quick. And I need some concrete pillars, too. Do I have any of those? No. Okay, let's make some concrete pillars. How many can I make? 21. We're going to need that and more, I'm sure. Um, but let's just, for our little... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let's make 8 to start with for our experiment here. This might completely fail epically, or it might work perfectly. Or maybe somewhere in between the two extremes. Alright, concrete pillar there. Uh, concrete pillar there. You know what, though? Oh, we missed a stone pillar in that corner. Actually, we missed stone pillars all along that side. And one in this corner, too. Okay, we can fix that. There. That gives that the support it needs. Oh, you know what I didn't account for was... We're going to need two here, actually. Come here, you little bastard. It was you. Okay, line that up there. What? Uh, it, it, there you go. That should be touching enough to support. Yeah, it, it is, so it should be good. Okay, that should take care of all of the pillars. Now, back to this. So, we're going to put a... No. No! Damn it, Jim! I wish, uh, I wish we could make these pillars a little thinner. Okay, so now, let's go here, and we want the cross piece. I don't know if it matters what direction that's going in. I can't rotate it anyway, so we'll just let it go the direction it wants to go. Just out of curiosity, is that little shade from the thing... ...affecting sunlight at all? It doesn't appear to. The crop is in a good location. It's likely to receive good sunlight for growth. It could be that the game doesn't factor structural shadows at all. I don't know. Um, but it doesn't appear to be causing a problem based upon what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's go grab our glass panels. Okay. We need this to be the other, yeah, like that. We need this to be there. Oh no, are you not? Are you gonna do this to me, game? You're not gonna let me put that in there, you bastard! I 
don't think this is going to work either, but I'm going to try it. Nope, it isn't going to let me do it. You son of a... Oh, that's disappointing. All right, um, can I put this up? There. Okay, um, that is a bummer. I can't, it's, it's not going to let me put that there. I mean, I guess, the, you know, crops don't take damage from weather, so I guess we just leave that open, and we'll call it airflow, and pretend like we intended to do it that way. I think that's what we'll do. All right, so we're going to put this in here. And I'm going to need to make some more concrete. But what I want to do, before I before I take this any further, I want to wait till we get another storm and see if this glass is going to be protected by the concrete pillars. My guess, it, well, I don't know. I don't even have a guess. It might, it might not. I, what I can tell you is that in my previous series in Icarus about a year, year and a half ago, I made, uh, if you guys have watched that, maybe some of you did, I built a huge base, uh, a nice big A-frame base with ginormous, you know, uh, triangular glass. And when I encased it in, you know, the beams like this, uh, it, it was fine. It didn't take any weather damage at all. So I'm hoping that that's still going to be the case with this. But there's, you know, there's no way to know until the, a storm comes. So guys, I think we're going to leave the episode here. Regardless of, you know, how we end up building the glass and the walls, um, we're going to get the crop plots down anyway. So I'm going to get all of those set up uh, and get the crops back to, to growing. And then, um, you know, we got to get it plumbed in too. So my plan for that is to... Uh, well... The... If we do that, we're going to need power. So that leads... What we might do is we might put this on hold. That is going to look really nice, though, when it's done. I just wish the concrete beams were not so thick, but it's all right. Um, we're going to put this on hold, and we're going to work on getting the pump house slash utility uh, house or shack or whatever built in the next episode, I think. And that... The plan for that is to do something very similar to what we're doing over here, except for we're going to build that out this side of the house. Uh, same idea, though. We'll have a, a stairway going down to it. And then it we're going to house all of the electrical generators in there, which will provide the power for our base. And then I'm going to make this... I'm going to make this um, flat, the roof on it flat, and eventually we'll put solar panels on top um, to give us even more power now I think I remember reading in you know like in the roadmap and stuff that they are planning on implementing batteries uh, in the game and I hope that they do you know kind of like what no man's sky does because that way then you can collect the power during the day and then the batteries you know uh, give you power e overnight it would be cool to have like a, a fully solar powered base but we unfortunately we can't do that right now. But if we but if we put the solar panels up, though that's still going to definitely help with you know the the fuel consumption of the generators during the daytime. At least that it should. So anyway, that's that's what's going on. And uh, with that, I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.